family in Riverside is looking for answers tonight. Saturday morning, their mother was stabbed to death while walking her dog. Today, a video emerged of the woman accused in her killing. NBC 4's Tony Shin has that and more. When his ring camera caught this video early Saturday morning of a woman carrying a ladder by his front door, Ricardo Perez says he had to investigate. My instinct was basically, let me look for her and see where she, where she went. Ricardo says he found another neighbor who told him the same woman had just tried breaking into her backyard and that Riverside police officers were already on their way. There she is. Moments later, Ricardo caught up with the woman and recorded several videos of her from his car. Well, she was sometimes crying, you know, throwing her hands in the air. So I knew that there was something wrong with her. Minutes later, officers struggled to take the woman into custody. They identified her as Darlene Montoya, a 23 year old transient who investigators say had stabbed a woman who was walking her dogs earlier that same morning in an unprovoked attack. A crime recorded on a neighbor's surveillance system. She was taken to the hospital where unfortunately she was pronounced deceased. Officer Ryan Railsback says just days before the stabbing, officers arrested Montoya for assault with a deadly weapon after she allegedly attacked another woman. I started punching her and then Ms. Montoya had a skateboard and, and hit her upside the head with the skateboard. But Officer Railsback says in that case, Montoya was cited and released under the court system's emergency bail schedule, which was implemented by the state to curb the spread of COVID-19. It allows the zero bail release of people who are accused of certain misdemeanor and felony crimes. But there is a level of frustration where there's no consequence, you know, for for these uh, criminals. Frustration also felt by family members of KJ Ming. The 64 year old woman who was stabbed to death, apparently because she was simply in the wrong place at the wrong time. Her son told us on Sunday he thinks the emergency bail schedule needs to end. What if it was their daughter? What if it was their mother? Montoya faces several charges, including murder and suspicion of being under the influence of an illegal substance. She is currently being held without bail. In Riverside, Tony Shen, NBC4 News.